I wanted to go out and uh, have fun, play golf, play their best. Uh, you know, golf can be hard at times. Uh, as a player, I, I know that, but I think they have to be, you know, just like kids. They, they need to go out and have fun and then play their best. Um, I felt good. I mean, always fun to play on your home course. So it was really nice knowing the course pretty well. I was excited to play. I feel, I feel excited going into tomorrow. You know, I made a few pretty dumb mistakes today that I know I can build off of for the week and hopefully eliminate those and do well this week. I was actually kind of nervous about it because I, at the end, I kind of wanted to check the scores, like check the leaderboard, but I told myself not to because if I, I, I was like actually doing good, then I would want to keep it and not just like fall apart. I'm definitely going to try to do uh, something better tomorrow. You know, this course is in like perfect conditions with the greens rolling really pure and just just trying to have a fun day. Yeah. Um, it was a great feeling to start off with three birdies. So after those birdies, I was like, I had a lot of momentum. So after that, I had some confidence throughout the round for sure. Good. It's really good. Like it's really hot and the course really challenging. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I'm getting really lucky though. The putting's awesome. I never have like that feeling to make any putt. Yeah. I felt pretty good. Um, I've been working on my game a lot and I've been, I just got really prepared for this tournament. I felt good. B, um, it's, it's been a long time playing AJs and many seconds and lots of close firsts, but I'm really happy. I mean, I hit it really well off the tee, so that really suits my game well. Um, then you got to hit some good iron shots in the par threes too, so um, yeah, the course just kind of suits my game, so I've always played well here. It means a lot. This is my second AJGA uh, tournament this year, and I really want to play at this place close to home, so I'm really glad to play at San Jose Country Club. Just the same mindset, keeping it slow, taking it one shot at a time, and not rushing it. I think that's really important to keep my game going. It's, it's actually really nice. Um, I was able to make a couple really good putts down the stretch, and I think that helped quite a bit. Now this is my first AJGA event and it's really cool just to qualify for such a really good event. It was good. The first round I played really solid. I just stayed really patient and was able to do that. But um, the second round was definitely more of a grind. I had to work a little harder. It didn't come as easy, but that's golf, so it happens. I came off a few birdies. I birdied the last three holes on the, on the first round, so I was able to kind of keep that momentum going and just being confident in my game and knowing I've worked hard so I can do it. I knew it was going to be a lot windier in the second round and definitely a little more tired heading into the back nine of the second round. So I just stayed patient, stayed hydrated and kind of just made sure I was clubbing, clubbing right in this wind and it worked out pretty well. The course is in great condition and this event is always so well run. I mean playing in four hours in a junior tournament is always nice. So I mean this is my second year playing in it and that's a great experience. I know everyone says it a lot, but with these two 18-hole rounds in one day, you kind of just have to take things slow, conserve your energy, um, especially when the course got tougher, it got windier. I just, you know, had little mental cues to keep me in the moment, and uh, hopefully I can keep that up to tomorrow. I kind of like these moments where I'm kind of on top of the leaderboard and I have a chance to win. I think that's where my best game comes out. Um, and I know some of the guys on top, so it'll be fun to play with them, and uh, I'm just looking forward to it. It means a lot. Um, I really haven't had like a lot of success in my junior career, like I said before, so it's super cool to just like be able to say that I've won something. Honestly, I was very nervous, um, but I just carried over from what I did yesterday and tried to be patient and make a lot of birdies and just trust my game and have confidence and yeah, worked. It was definitely my ball striking, uh, hitting a lot of fairways, a lot of greens, giving myself a lot of chances. Um, and just kind of playing stress-free golf out here on a, on a pretty difficult course. Uh, just a lot of confidence, knowing that I can uh, steal the deal against you know, a lot of high-level players. So just taking all this confidence to my future events. I just got to thank, thankful to all of them, all the staff, all like the association, I guess, because without AJG, I don't think I can get this far. 
and I don't think I, I can ac accomplish a lot of stuff I, I haven't. I guess, I mean, it's not over, but it does feel good to have a good lead, so I'm happy about that. My goals are to just play steady, not let anything get to my head, try not to freeze in the wind that's out here, and just play steady golf, not put myself in any bad situations. It's given me a lot of opportunities. Um, I've had a lot of more experience playing with AJGA than any other golf tour, especially at a high level with high level players. And it really gives me another opportunity to see like what it would be like in college, especially playing 36, 18, and giving me opportunities to like see coaches and have people watching me. It's been really, it's been really great. Well, it's, it's challenging, like, you know, 36 holes the first day, which isn't easy. It really t tests your mental and physical capabilities. It's a tournament. Just one try at a time. Don't worry about the results. It's a lot. It means, like, greater things for the future. I could improve and get into, like, more tournaments, for example, and help me with more events. The tournaments get me into, like, they're high quality tournaments, so they get me into more good things and better things for my future. It feels really good, you know, it just shows that all the hard work is playing off. The field it definitely pushes me to do the best I can. This tournament means a lot to me and it's honestly very exciting. And this is definitely going to boost my game a lot and hopefully I can win more in the future. I'm pretty familiar with this course in the last few days. I had to play 108 holes in a row in five days and that's very tiring, but I got through it and f felt fine. <laughs> and I think it's, it's overall, it's pretty, I did pretty well and everything, so yeah. Very meaningful to me because it's a very good confidence builder for me. Uh, it's making me more confident in my game and making me believe in myself more course, it required a lot of accuracy, especially when it came to approaching the greens. So I definitely took a lot of time when it came to approaching and putting on the green. This is actually my first tournament, so it really helped me and I was really surprised with how AGGA was well maintained and how organized they were. So I'd like to thank all of the AGGA staff for this tournament today. It was a really great round for me. I sh beat my personal best by two shots, so it was a really, really good round for me, yeah. Um, it went pretty smooth. I, I got it to, uh, I think, five under at a point, and then kind of lost focus for a couple holes, but um, finished pretty well. I thought I played really well, and when I got, I hit a few bad shots to start. Made seven straight pars and got out of trouble when I needed to. And I would say that my best part of the game was shots in between 1, 100 and 130. I stuck a couple of those pretty close. Um, I feel like today went really well. I worked on just trying to keep it straight off the tee box and keep it in play because once you're in a good position, I mean, you can just throw darts on these soft greens. It was pretty hard. The conditions were nice. It was a little bit humid, but I enjoyed the course a lot. My putting was really good today and my ball striking was better. I only, I think I hit 17 out of 18 greens the whole day, so I was really excited about that. Um, you know, going into today, being second to last group, it's pretty stress-free, you know, you don't have to, there's no pressure on you to do well, you kind of just go out and play your own game, so it's kind of what I did, you know, I wasn't focused on the leaderboard or anything, just taking it shot by shot, hole by hole, and turned out well. Good morning and welcome to the final round of the Circle K Junior Championship hosted by Otter Creek. I think the AGGA has really like detailed rules about what's allowed, what's not allowed. Some of the tours I play, it's not so as like organized and I find that really nice as a player to feel comfortable in the space. It's really reassuring to know that I can come out to a course like this and qualify. So that's a really good feeling. The conditions are really good. I love the course. I love the design and yeah, I was just staying positive up there, and I love the course. Oh, I think I did pretty well today. Yeah, it exceeded my expectations, so that was good. I think my drivers were super consistent today, and then I also like, was able to make a few birdie putts. That was nice. I like courses with trees, because they kind of keep me down the middle. Um, and the greens are, I wouldn't say they're easy to read, but the, I seem to read them well. I'm pretty good about my round today. Um, 
had a couple bogeys on the par fives that hurt, but putted pretty good. It's really nice because I've gone second multiple times and it feels nice to finally be able to get a win. And yeah, it's like great to win here because I love this tournament and how it was run. My round went pretty good, better than yesterday. I started driving it straight down the fairways, made a lot of putts and hit a lot of greens. Like the last putt, I was like shaking. And then yeah, I got the two putt, so. I feel pretty great, yeah. Today was a bit tough. The course didn't play that easy, but it was nice to pull through. It was really, really warm, so it was good to finish. I think I did pretty okay today. My putting was definitely my strength. Um, I was really proud of hole seven, I think, the par three, where I hit like a, a really good seven iron to one foot and made a birdie. It feels great, played well. Yeah, the course was playing good, a little windy, and thought some thunderstorms were good. Uh, playing was great, hit good shots out there, and managed to play well. Uh, just keep the same focus and just try my best. It feels great leading since I got a lot of lucky shots today and I just didn't think I would be leading, but it feels really good. The course was kind of hard. There were definitely a lot of sloped hills, but um, I definitely got better at them. I got good putting and my drive is going pretty straight. I ends mm, going near the pin, yeah, online. 17, because if I ready that one, I get to be in, uh, leading, yeah, and I ready it. Game plan is to probably practice more putting because it was a little off today, the tempo, and like just get everything on the green. I'd like to thank my parents for driving me out here to uh, walk these 18 holes with me and just like being here for me. And I'd also like to thank Harold Varner for sponsoring this tournament. It feels pretty good. We'll see if I can hold it up together tomorrow. And basically, I just had a good stretch of holes in the back nine where I started on 10. And I just kept together, shot a 30 on the, the back. Uh, it was actually, it, I thought it was pretty easy. The pins were in some gettable spots, so I just put it within birdie range and made some putts. Feels very good. Um, I worked really hard for this all day in the sun. And it feels like an accomplishment, definitely. And I had a lot of tapping pars. Um, I had a lot of good putts. I made like two long putts for birdie. It was really good. And yeah, I was trying to do my best today. Feels really good. I played really good this week. I had a f t tough first day. I was a little tired, but we get kept it together today and made some more putts. So it was good. Uh, I want to thank my, my dad, my mom, my grandpa, my grandma, and my coach for giving me all these opportunities to play and just giving me all the lessons that I need. I also would like to thank uh, Harold Varner for having us out here and sponsoring this tournament and letting us play and compete.